This is the third part of transformation of a bowl. In this video I will prepare some decorative elements which I will use to decorate the bowl in the last episode of this series. I will be making four different decorations and I will start with making 17 glass nuggets in a hot pot. I choose to make my own nuggets instead of store bought so I can influence color and design to fit my bowl. Here I am making green bubble paint. When this paint is heated it forms visible bubbles in the glass. I put the paint on a small translucent piece of glass which I prepared before and add little transparent and colored splinters on top. Now it is time for the hot pot. A hot pot is a pot which is designed to become very hot in the microwave, which makes it capable to melt glass in just a few minutes. Except an occasional peak during the melting process, the pot has to be closed until the glass has sufficiently cooled down. And this is the reason I will not be showing the complete process, but just the finished nuggets. Next I am making a leaf cane out of a Skinner blend bullseye cane. I found this particular technique in a book from Donna Cato. I already made a green leaf cane and now I am making a brown gold cane. First I have to make a Skinner blend and because you can already see me making a Skinner blend in part 2 of this series, I'll skip to the next part. And that is making the bullseye cane. It's actually nothing more than rolling the clay into a cylinder, making sure not to create any air bubbles and in this case being aware which color I want in the center of the cane. After trimming the ends and standing the cane upright, I cut it into four quarters. Then I reshape each piece into an oval and place them side by side so they form a new cane. Again I reshape this cane into a square and divide it into two, making a square again and reshape it into a leaf form. I have a big leaf now, way too big to be useful for the bowl. So I am reducing this cane into a smaller leaf. This process is done by squeezing and pulling so the cane gets bigger and the leaf form gets smaller. And in this way I can create leaves of different sizes. But before I do this, I want to wrap my cane into another sheet of brown to make the finishing touch.
I am dividing my cane into two parts to keep the biggest leaf and reduce the other cane to create different sizes. My third decoration is very simple. I'm going to make strings in two sizes out of gold and two shades of green with a clay gun. Starting by rolling my gold clay into a cylinder, I'm feeding it to my clay gun, first with the small circles and halfway I switch to the bigger one. In between colors, it's important to clean the clay gun so there will be no mixing of colors. And I will repeat the process for both shades of green. Now I have my strings and some I will use directly for decorating the bowl and some I will reshape into my fourth decoration. Tiny balls in different sizes. I start by cutting a few of my strings into different sizes. After that I roll each piece into shape. It may look easy and fast, but it's actually a lot of work. But I finished it, and there you go, the decorations which I will use to decorate the bowl. Well actually, there's one more thing. I will also use something store-bought, two leaf cutters. Do you want to see me decorate the bowl? Then make sure to watch the last video in the series. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube or go to my website polyglassart.com.